Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm just going to be going over basics on how to start learning to dribble the ball and how to start learning how to do basic flicks. So to start learning how to dribble, basically what you're going to want to do is, what I did anyways, is go into free play and you can reset until you get yourself centered with the ball if you want to like this or you can just drive yourself centered based on wherever you spawn turn ball cam off you don't want to use ball cam when dribbling because the camera starts swinging all over the place that's step number one turn ball cam off when you know you're going to start a dribble so what you're going to want to do is drive straight into the ball and give it a little pop so maybe you get uh, get the pop down first You're gonna want to pop it Not maybe not at full speed actually start right here and then boost and give it a pop It's kind of more like it. So you'll start here and then do this and then you can like get underneath it like that and try and carry it and Keep on doing this over and over again Until you can get it to stay on your car all the way to the goal this is what I used to do to learn dribbling. I would just pop it and then boost underneath it and try and learn catching. Like, you, you want to learn how to catch it. So, step one is to boost and then try and catch it and just see if you can carry it in, into the goal. Um, it's It looks easy, but it's way harder. It was way harder for me to learn. Um, to keep the ball uh, under, on top of your car and not have it falling off the back or the front, you can feather your boost to keep it centered or tap the brakes lightly or let off the gas but basically to keep it centered all you have to do is um, keep your car in the middle of the circle as best as you can and it will stay uh, on top of your car like this so if it starts falling off you can give it a little bit of boost and if it goes too far back you can hit the brakes and then just try and correct yourself the best place to do this in free play because you have unlimited boost to try and uh, mess with it and fix it. If you start messing up, you can try and... This is the best way, to, in my opinion, to learn how to dribble because you can mess around with it as much as you want to get it, like, you know, to figure it out, the physics and all that kind of stuff. Because that's what I did and it worked for me. Um, another method you can do to learn how to do dribbles is, um, if the, like, is a more realistic because the ball isn't going to always be sitting still for you like this where you can just pop it and then do your thing um, a more realistic scenario the ball is going to be moving around the field already so like if the ball is for instance traveling towards the net like this well actually let me do the other net if the ball is traveling towards their net for instance at a certain angle like this you can get on the other side of the ball and put your car in the way and pop it like that Basically you want to learn how to pop the ball in any position to start a dribble. So you can start your own if it's like going a certain way and you get on the side of it and pop it up and then just try and catch it. So you can uh, train yourself how to do this, catch it, boost it this way, get on this side of it, pop, catch, the pop and catch I guess as you can call it. So pop, catch, and then that's how you would start that dribble. Um, another thing you can do to try and learn it is if you want to keep the ball moving instead of once you get past resetting it is you can uh, You can do basically any way you want to try to pop and catch but you can boost it to this side and then go to the, to the net wait for it Because this is another scenario that will happen in game is you can pop it When it's coming towards you and then you can try and carry it like that and just see if you can carry it from one end of the field to the other without dropping it just see if you can keep carrying it around like this. And then like another thing with uh, carrying is when it goes on the wall, try and like, basically you wanna just experiment with every possible angle you can in the arena. So you can, you're ready for everything. You can learn how to uh, hit it high and catch like a high bounce, like stay under the circle, have it land on your car. That's one thing you can try and uh, mess with doing like high bounces, getting underneath it, and having it land perfectly centered. Eventually, with practice and trying it in games, you will get good at dribbles. Just take some time. 
so that's as far as I know for dribbles what would be good for you. Now we can get into some basic flicks. So the most basic flick you can do is a front flip flick. So you're going to want to apply the dribbling skills you've been working on. And you can start off by leaving the ball centered like it is. You'll drive over to it. You'll do your regular pop that you learned. So you'll pop it. And then you'll do something like, like this. So you're going to let, you have to let the ball start falling off the front of the car a little bit. So when you front flip, the back end of your car makes contact with the ball and uh, propels it forwards. That's how you get the flick. See how it's slightly forwards like that? That's basically the perfect spot. So I'll show you that one more time. You want to have the ball slightly forwards and maintain that for a, a couple of seconds. So basically keep it centered like this until you, you've decided you want to flick and then you can let it start to fall off the front of your car to do the flick. So once you have it starting to fall off the front, you can do the flick, just like that. Um, it's just a basic front flip flick. So it's all it really takes. You just forward dodge into the ball after it's falling off the front of your car a little bit. Like this. Oh, that's actually... I messed it up a little bit. I tried not giving it any boost. So that's no boost. But you want to give it boost a little bit right before you flick to give it power. So, like that. If you boost right as you're flicking, it'll give it more power. That's how you would. That's how you would do it. Um, in terms of flicking, um, if it's centered on your car like this when you try and flick, this is what will happen. And if it's too far backwards on your car, a similar scenario. This is what will happen. So you want to get the perfect sweet spot and have it slightly falling off the front of your car, like this. So you can flick into the ball. That's a basic front flip flick. Um, you can mix up your flicks. Um, I'll show, I can show others in different videos, but I'm just supposed to focusing on the basics here. Sometimes you might get something like that if you mess it up. Um, I like to do, I'll show you a, a flick that you can use that will be more helpful, I think once you get past that stuff is like a, a side flip <clears throat> so that's a side flip flick basically want to boost the ball forwards like normal but just like you're doing this underneath the ball basically instead of a front flip you're like flipping under the side of it so the same thing applies I'll try and show you a couple times in case you need to get a full better view oh, I screwed it up I'm not perfect with it, I'm just, I know how to do them. Damn, I messed up again, alright. So, it just gives it a little pop. Uh, I think that pop is higher and easier and better to do in a game versus the basic front flip. I don't know why I uh, keep screwing it up, it's my fault. Uh, I think I'm jumping too early, let's see. Yeah, you, sometimes you might have to delay or, like, I think I was jumping and I wasn't holding jump long enough, so my car was too low. But basically, you might have to screw with it, like, I'm not, obviously I'm not perfect with it. Oh, I think I was too far back, or it's too far centered. Like, let's see, if I'm too centered, if I'm too centered on it, this is what happens. So that's probably exactly what was happening as I was too centered. Or maybe I was too far back on that one. But you can just keep doing this over and over again until you get the hang of it. And eventually you'll be able to pull off some sick nasty flicks like the reverse 360 or reverse 45 or just the 45. Because normally kind of flicks I go for are like this. That's normally what I go for in games. That's probably why it's harder for me to pull off these other ones as frequently because the flicks I always go for are something like that or you can get uh, you can get some pretty nice angle change angle changes on the ball if you do like a more of a turn like I didn't quite get it I, I'm not perfect at them so it's nothing too crazy but like that it's kind of like I threw it back behind my car so I could throw off the opponent just get some funny looking pops 
But anyways, um, that'll uh, conclude this video. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, leave them in the comments. And I will try and help you out if I can. Or maybe I'll make a new video on something else. Or if something's not clear enough, I'll make a video on that too. But anyways, uh, good luck and peace.